Here we go with problem 13. On problem 13, it gives us this shape and wants to know the length of that walkway. Now, as soon as I see it, I'm thinking, wait a second, right triangle. You got a rectangle here with a walkway coming this way, two measurements given, it's got to be a right triangle. Well, if this side of the rectangle is 15, this side right here is going to have to be 15 also. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem right here with saying, hey, 24 squared plus 15 squared is equal to the pathways length squared. Now, 24 times 24, that's 576. That's 225. That's 801. And now, what number squared is 801? Well, I take the square root of both. You have a calculator. I know that's going to be approximately... I know 30 times 30 is 900, so this is in the 28 range, um, 28, point, 28 point something. So we would check on our uh, key, and one of the answers they have, I see, is 28.3, so that's obviously what C is closest to. So again, once you see one of these shapes, boom, you know to be looking and using the Pythagorean theorem, if you see any right triangle, and two links given, it's got to be a Pythagorean theorem problem. There's our answer, 28.3 to number 13.